When I first started in this role, I asked Pete, our former dean, what's the significance of the current mace? And he had no idea. The cane was from 1889, so it's a neat historical piece, but nobody thinks it has any significance to Rose Holman. We wanted to create something that had some sort of significance to the campus that would be carried down the hill for the next thousand years. So I met with three guys from facilities. It's Will and Tom Mobley and Chad Schaefer. I'm an engineer by degree. And my mindset is, oh, four pieces of wood, one here, one here, one here, one here, like that, that's my one. No artistic ability at all. And I said, what I'd like to do is incorporate the names. I'd like there to be a seal. I'd like to use all four types of wood. And I'd like it to be able to be placed in a stand so it could be displayed during commencement. I know how talented they are and creative they are. And so I said, just, just go with it. There were four different types of wood that were used to create this. The trees that were cut down when we expanded the union, birch, oak, poplar, and maple. When you think about all of the people that have walked down that hill for almost 100 years, some of these trees have been there for almost 100 years. So the four names that are currently on are the only four Dean of Students that have served at Rose Holman. They actually put the signatures of each of the four deans on there. And knowing three of those four signatures personally, I mean, they're dead on. But I did want the seal incorporated. You know, we only use the academic seal for very important things. They worked the three of those in, again, beautifully in a way that I couldn't even imagine. They had the whole thing built and they said, what do you want on the top? So if you look at it, you can see some pieces of what the flame of the millennium is, as you see that outside of Hatfield Hall. And I think they did just a beautiful job of, of doing that. <laughs> as the students line up in Hatfield Hall, one of the last things I do is I get a chance to just address the senior class. But I told them about the guys in the facilities and how they'd spent so much time to put this together as a piece of history that forever now will be leading this march. And so many of them came up to me afterwards and wanted a picture with it or wanted to be able to take it and show their parents and wanted to see how all the different pieces fit together. And they really got into that. So I, I think our students, you know, those kind of things mean something to them as well. I think there's just a level of pride of being able to lead the most talented students in the country and to know that this is their last march through campus before they go out and literally change the world. And we're blessed with the opportunity to be able to influence their education outside of the classroom as deans of students. And um, there's no better honor than that.